Musket to buy Escapade last of all, no more than seven lengths from the leader. But Damajo's worked away back to the front. Kirov Boy calling it a day. Came back underneath the neck of Delicacy though. Around the outside, real love with Woodsville at the top of the straight. But Damajo, the leader from Woodsville, Neverland still there. She gets up on the inside. Real love joins in. Here comes Dark Musket though with a run. Neverland, Dark Musket, real love, and now Delicacy. Here she comes. Delicacy under the. Let's go to the yard. Here's Adam McGrath. And no doubt a very proud owner breeder, Bob Peters. What an achievement. Bob, no matter what happened today, there was going to be a story whether Delicacy won, Neverland won, or maybe Real Love went back to back. The story is with Delicacy, and we've just seen something great. Yes, she keeps on surprising me. She surprised us last year, and she keeps doing it this year. It's amazing how she just continues to lift the level, doesn't she? I mean, I think last year she was probably rated third or fourth at one stage in, in the crop and was able to keep lifting through and then defied the odds. And again today, 59 kilos, but just every battle she's able to lift to. Yes, she keeps uh, raising the bar, doesn't she? she obviously, barriers help. Poor old Real Love, she was caught wide all the way and uh, she ran very well. You were reasonably happy with Barrier 1, weren't you, at the time? You knew that she'd be able to get off and work into the race still? Well, I said it's better than 20. Very true indeed. What about during the run when Kirov Boy started dropping back? Were you a little bit concerned at the top of the straight? Oh, well, it was a bit hard to watch them all at once. Uh, I was really watching Neverland at that stage. On a personal opinion now, this is your sixth cup. You just continue to amaze us all with the, the breeding as well. You've got the trifecta here. Is this an emotional victory for you with, with what she's been able to do? Yes. It's a, as I said, she just keeps surprising. Where to next for Delicacy? Could we see her go to an Australian Cup? Oh, I'll have a look at that. We'll just uh, see if it, we can uh, look at the logistics of getting to something like that. But uh, we'll just see how she pulls up. She'll go to the paddock tomorrow for a little while. Last time she got a couple of days. We'll see what she gets this time. I think she deserves a rest, Bob. Uh, we're extremely proud of all of your efforts, everything you've put into racing here. The trifecta is well deserved. Congratulations. Thank you. Margins are three quarters of a length, a length and a quarter. The time is 2.30.01, last 637 even on a day where the Queen reigns supreme. And Adams now with the man of the moment, Peter Hall. We're with Peter Hall and the last time you rode this horse, you're in tears. You came in the mounting yard, you couldn't hide your emotion and I knew the moment you got on this horse, the excitement you would have had. How does this feel now doing it in Perth? Hi, oh, it's funny after that group one, I thought, well... I'll never want to win a race more than that race in WA. And then now the Perth Cup's come around and just to build up the week, I thought, oh, I want this race more. Um, the support for her, this horse, the well wishes and everything before a race is amazing. Like, she's a pretty popular horse in WA. Now, don't worry about the decision, right or wrong, however it played out, but the moment you found out that delicacy was an option, what was your immediate thought that went through your mind? Well, there's a song out at the moment. It's a Tracy Chapman remix. It's called Fast Car, and that's what she is. She's just faster than the rest. It's as simple as that. Were you worried at all during the ride on the fence, Kirov Boy dropping back and tiring as well? I can see you're looking to your right, you're wondering whether to go inside as well. Was there any concern during that stage? Oh, definitely, you know, but I knew we needed Barrier 1 to win the race with the 59. Um, but this, this horse's attribute is pick-up speed, and if there's a run there, like in the champion fillies, she took the smallest of margins on the fence and she just goes. She's just fast. <laughs> just continues to lift. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of people you want to thank, Orly. Oh, yeah, you know, like, uh, you know, Grant Williams, he just uh, trains big winner after big winner and all his staff, Alana, and my family did enjoy the ride with me and uh, ups and downs and, of course, Bob and Sandra, you know, like they've always put me on this horse when Willie couldn't ride her and so how lucky am I? Great to see you win, mate. Congratulations. Thank you. We do have winning trainer Grant Williams and emotional Grant Williams as well. What a performance by her, but I can guarantee you're not surprised. No, nah, she never surprised us. She just, uh, she's just, yeah, she's a freak. Did you know she'd be able to overcome that 59 kilos today and beat this field? Oh, I stopped thinking about the 59. I just kept thinking about the horse. What was your thoughts then in that when you're thinking about it? Well, if anyone can carry the 59, I think because the minimum was 54, that's, that's what kept me positive about it, you know? And, uh, we know she stays really good. She's got a good turn of foot and um, takes the runs when they come. She had a little bit of, like, Kirov boy coming back and that still didn't bother her. She just sort of 
grabs a bit at the right time and takes the runs. It's, she's just brilliant. Grant, you've got some brilliant horses in the past, present as well, even at the moment with the likes of a perfect reflection, but is she just right up there as the pinnacle at the moment? Uh, it's going to take a long time to get one better than this one, I think, for me personally. Grant, well done. A tremendous training performance. Uh, you've got them running perfectly. A great job and you deserve the win. Well done, mate. Thanks, mate. Ta